Hello and welcome to Hayes' Gaming and Tech. I'm Hazerell, your host. And um, basically today we're going to be doing a uh, unboxing review of Artit's Liquid Freezer 360. Yes, I know guys, it's a mouthful. Um, now, uh, basically uh, what this is, is it's a um, all-in-one cooling solution to cool CPUs under the Intel and AMD platforms. Um, and without further ado, guys, um, let's go ahead and transition over. Okay, fellas, today, uh, as I mentioned previous in the introduction of this video, um, we are doing a unboxing of Arctix, uh Liquid Freezer 360 Closed Liquid Cooling Unit. And basically, it the reason it says 360 in its name is because it's a 360 millimeter radiator. Um, it comes with six PWM fans, which are four pin connectors. Um, you can daisy chain them, and um, they produce 74 CFM per fan, which comes to a total um, of 444 CFM. Uh, for the entire unit uh, in a push-pull configuration. Now, um, it basically states that uh, this unit is a all-in-one CPU cooler with ultimate performance. Now, um, we will in future videos uh, discuss um, what ultimate performance actually means with actual benchmark temperatures. Now, um, with that said, uh, this unboxing um, is just basically run the mill um, I'm sure you've seen plenty of them but um, but anyway you uh, basically have um, the fronter you know the fronter <laughs> the front cover here uh, of the box uh, which shows a picture of well the unit that you're getting now I turn it over and I wish my camera would quit zooming in, but um, anyway, um, the specifications uh, for this particular unit is uh, the voltage is anywhere from 5 volts to 12 volts uh, DC current. Uh, power consumption is uh, 2 watts. Um, the cold plate, which is what sits on top of the CPU and transfers water over the CPU, is made up of a micro skeeved fin and copper. Um, the tube length, which is the rubber tubing that connects the radiator to the pump, um, is 326 millimeters in length. Now, um, the actual tube diameter, the inner tube diameter is 10.6 millimeter, and the outer diameter is 6 millimeters. Now, the dimensions of the pump without the tubes connected is 82 millimeter by 82 millimeter with a thickness of 40 millimeter. Now, um, below the specifications, um, we have SITS, X, I mean, FAN at SITS, which stands for SITS fans in total. Uh, fan speed is anywhere from 500 uh, minimum to 1350 maximum RPM. PWM fans um, again. Um, the airflow is 74 CFM per fan, which I stated earlier, which equals 444 CFM in total in a push pull configuration. Um, the voltage um, of these fans are 12 volt DC, which is direct current, and um, the current is one quarter, which is 0.25 amps max the bearing is a fluid dynamic bearing uh, the noise level uh, of these fans are is 0.3 zone which is less than a decibel and the connector is again a four pin with PSD meaning uh, PST not D Sorry guys, uh, which means that the motherboard can control the fan speeds. Um, you know, if you you know you set up your fan curves, it'll control it. Um, now, uh, the fans that are with this unit are 120 millimeter fans, um, 
in length and in width and they have a thickness of 25 millimeter which are standard 120 millimeter fans okay now the radiator dimensions as y'all can see um, the material is aluminum along with uh, the dimensions is 390 millimeter by 120 millimeter with the thickness uh, 27 millimeters now uh, general information for um, y'all uh, for uh, the rest of you um, guys and gals uh, would be um, recommended for compatibility uh, thermal compound and total weight the recommended for compatible recommended for up to 300 watts thermal design power um, and the compatibility means well what what um, motherboards does it work with okay well the motherboards that it works with is um, 1120 uh, uh, 2011 ugh, version 3 um, 1150 uh, 1151 1155 and 1156 sockets under the Intel platform and on the AMD platform it supports AM2 plus AM3 plus FM1 and FM2 plus it comes with um, the thermal compound that it comes with is a 0.8 grams which is actually less than a gram of thermal compound I do recommend you using your own if you have it I personally use Noctor uh, I find it, it um, is a nice uh, consistency and it does um, it doesn't dry out as quick as the MX4 um, now the total weight um, is 1,562 grams which comes to six fans, one radiator, one pump, and tubes. Now um, I've tried to do several of these videos and um, something's always happened so hopefully the the 17th millionth time is the charm, huh guys? <laughs> now um, basically um, here are the fans that uh, come with a unit and uh, basically you know you just got your run-the-mill fan uh, that's what they look like um, now I like how the sleeving is um, I like how the sleeving is, is done because this kind of reminds me of the quality of the Noctores you got your four pin and you can actually daisy chain the uh, fans together um, meaning that you don't need a external fan controller for these uh, to be connected to um, to actually operate which is very nice on Arctic's part um, you basically also have your installation manuals uh, one in English and one in Spanish I think it may be French Italian I don't know I don't know how to speak other languages so uh, forgive me if um, if I say something incorrectly um, I do recommend consulting the manual because whether you've been working with systems you know a year 15 years 20 years or this is the very first system you would be um, building um, the information um, is vital because um, they change things and um, the user who who's building the system needs to know if anything has changed um, and also different water cooling um, setups vary on different um, mounting techniques so um, also uh, we have here a bag full of goodies <laughs> uh, basically you got your you got a mounting bracket uh, the back plate for the bracket you have a SATA to um, four pin connector um, you've got um, you know uh, screws and bracket you, you got screws and um, MX4 you have the thermal compound um, standoffs so forth etc also here's the other mounting bracket and the other stand standoffs this is for AMD so I'm assuming that this bracket right here is the Intel bracket okay I know someone's going to say well it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out that that's an Intel bracket yeah I, I know um, now um, this right here is um, 
the screws and washers to mount, to mount your fans. And now for the last part, which is the radiator pump itself. Let me just go ahead and get the fans here out of the way so that way I can bring in the uh, radiator into camera view here. Um, sorry if my air conditioner is kind of loud, guys. Um, it is summertime or getting that way, it seems like. Okay, now uh, basically. Um, the pump seems to be made out of um, some kind of pl uh, plastic so um, so th I mean that seems nice I mean I would hate to you know bear down on it too hard because I'd be afraid of cracking it but um, but yeah um, the actual you know there's the copper um, heat transfer plate and um, or coal plate as they say and then you got your standard rubber tubing which as y'all can see it is kind of short guys so um, if you've got very tall cases or very long cases um, this water cooling uh, setup may be um, inadequate for your setup um, it basically just comes with your standard uh, radiator uh, as y'all can see um, and that's more or less it guys. Uh, that is more or less it um, If you have any questions um, or comments, please leave them in the comment section and um, I'll try to answer as many questions as humanly possible, but I am only human guys um, Now um, I will be uh, installing this into my um, Cooler master half its case um, It's already under water cooling, but unfortunately my um, pump reservoir combo that I have installed currently is only producing a half a gallon an hour and uh, the temps are erratically uh, getting hot and um, you know uh, becoming cool so forth etc um, and uh, it's, it's just time to pull it out um, it's actually a um, alpha cool um, polar bear which is um, I mean you can go on alpha cool's website and look them up um, it, it doesn't have enough pump pressure at that, um, so so hopefully this solid one is um, is going to be um, a lot better. Considering that um, the the polar bear is is very very um, hard to feel, and um, I still am not able to get all the water out of it. Um, I mean not all the water. I mean all the bubbles out of it. Um, so it's it's been a hassle. It really has. I'll be glad to just wash my hands of it. Um, and now um, I do have my uh, GPU under uh, water as well. And um, no, guys, I don't uh, run any kind of special dyes or anything like that. I just run uh, d distilled water um, and uh, mouthwash, and because uh, the mouthwash actually kills bacteria and stuff. Um, and I change out the water about once a month just to you know make sure that um you know i don't grow nothing or whatnot um yeah that's uh but yeah that's more or less it i've actually got um what i wanted to bring up before um i transition back over um is that um i've got a uh, thermal take uh p11 uh reservoir and pump combo coming for my gpu so that way this um this uh, arctic cooling unit will be for my cpu and i'll have an open loop for my gpu because i'm actually planning on uh, adding a second 1080 eventually um but anyway guys um let's just um i'm going to transfer over and in the video and um and yeah there we go there we go okay guys and gals um after some thought of the actual liquid freezer 360 review um i've come to the conclusion that um i'm not ordering from jet.com again yes guys this is where i ordered this liquid cooler from um, the reasons being is if you saw in the actual unboxing review how the box was actually bent up and 
and out of shape. Um, it actually made me uh, feel um, a little bit uncomfortable because um, I was worried about either the parts being used or um, maybe something being broke inside. Um, now, um, another thing that, um, what's the word? Uh, another thing that got me a little concerned, guys, is that um, it come in a new egg box. Um, I ordered it off of Jet.com, and it come in a new egg box, guys. Um, now they, now I guess Jet may have resellers or maybe vendor to people um, that may deal with new egg, or they may be associated with new egg. But I felt like um, that was a little unprofessional. Um, but besides that. Um, it was okay. Um, it did have a Jet.com packing slip, but um, I don't think I'm going to order from Jet no more. Actually, it ain't no think about it. I know I won't. Um, also, even though it was my first order and I say 15%, the packaging was rough. I mean, it was really rough, and I know that this is not Arctic's fault, so I can't you know blame them for that um also i said a few things um backwards in the review like the uh pump dimensions for the outer and inner uh, dimensions and um i i'm sorry um for that i've, I've tried to do this uh, review uh, several times and um, something's always come up something's always happened and um it's it's been rather uh, stressful and difficult um now uh i will be installing this in my uh, cooler master half x case and um so once i get that installed and the actual thermal take pump comes in guys i will uh, have out i'll get all that installed and um, i will start running benchmark tests to see where the performance under load is and where it is under idle as far as your temperatures go um, now I will not be overclocking this system um, I don't overclock because I like my parts to last and and even though you water cool something um, and it stays cool it still shortens the lifespan of your CPUs or whatever you're trying to overclock whether it's your GP or CPU memory so forth etc um so i don't overclock so for any potential viewer you're going to be getting stock clocks which will be great for you um, to know what it'll do under you know normal parameters um and uh, with all that said guys thank you for watching uh, this review and uh, once i get some more tech uh, to come in i will um review it and i will give you uh, my opinion on it guys um the next video um i do uh will be a review on the thermal take p11 uh pump and res combo i've got coming for the gpu i will also do a um a video on the actual temperatures i get with this cpu cooler and um with that said guys uh peace out and um take care